Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Pear DM Thrifts. If you're new here, welcome. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I also own my own brick and mortar consignment store. So today I have a pretty fun haul for you guys. I had some consignment clients come in and drop off some inventory. I'm really excited because one of them is a return client. She's given me stuff before and it's always been really great stuff. This haul that I'm about to show you is pretty good and I'm really excited to sell her items. The other person that came to consign with me actually told me that she used to sell on Poshmark but she said her words were, I like the thrill of the thrift more than I like selling. So she has a bunch of inventory that she never even listed and she just wants to get rid of it. So she's going to slowly be giving it to me to sell in my store and online. So I have a few pieces from her. It's mostly athletic wear. And then I have all of these stuff from my other clients. So I thought I'd show you guys what kind of inventory I get in and also whether I'm going to be selling it in my store or if I'm gonna be cross-listing it on my Poshmark closet. So if you guys wanna see some of my other consignment hauls, you can go ahead and head up here to my thrift haul playlist and they should be waiting for you in there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I have this whole rack of stuff plus a bin down here of bottoms and some purses. So I'm gonna start off with the person who told me that she used to sell on Poshmark. I've already gone through everything and chosen the items that I personally want to sell and I've returned the items that I don't think will do well. It's a mix of low tier items and some like mid tier like Lululemon, still considered bread and butter to me, um, but they're a little bit more exciting. So let's just go ahead and see what she brought in. So the first item is this sweatshirt. It's very basic. It's just a Nike little funnel neck sweater. This isn't something that I typically post on to Poshmark. This is something I'm definitely gonna be selling in my store. However, I got this idea that maybe I should open a second Poshmark closet and sell all my consignment stuff on there. I'm not sure yet. I know it's against the rules, um, but I do technically have a second closet. I just sell under my fiance's name, under Charlie's name, um, and we haven't had any issues or anything. I don't sell on there actively right now, but that is something that I could do with my consignment stuff, just because I like to keep my personal um, Poshmark closet a little bit on the mid to higher tier items. So I could still sell these things, but I wouldn't have to lower my ASP. Maybe that makes sense. I'm not sure yet. Let me know if anybody else does something like that. Um, but anyway, let's keep going with this haul. Here's another little Nike piece. This is a purple, I believe it's a tank top, but it's got this cinched waist detail. It's like the moisture wicking fabric. So super good for right now because it's been like, I don't think it's dropped below 90 degrees here in a couple weeks it's been really hot and people are still trying to exercise go for walks go on bike rides go on hikes um so i think that this will do really well all of these pieces are between like a size medium and large so i think that will do well also i don't have too many size large pieces in my shop so i'm really excited that both of these clients are in that size range so this was fun it's brand new attacks from athleta or Athleta, not sure how to pronounce that. So this is called the Miles Top in Mesh R Blue. And this was originally priced at $69. Just this blue tank with the built-in bra inside. I will have to look up comps on this and see if I wanna post it on Poshmark, but I'm definitely gonna put this in the store. People here love Athleta. I have never tried their athletic wear before, so I'm not sure how it stands up, but people are big fans of it around here. This next piece, I'm like debating if I want to keep it for myself. It's just another Nike sort of sweater. It's got a hoodie, but it's like t-shirt material and it's cropped. This is so cute to just throw over some leggings. This is a size medium, um, but I absolutely love this. And even if I do post it, I think that this will sell pretty quickly, especially if I style it. Very happy about this. This is something that I would probably pick up at the thrift store if it was like under $8 or so, um, but I love this piece so much all right and next we're moving on to some lulu i believe this is called actually i don't even want to butcher it because i this is like one of the most popular styles of lululemon tees however i think this is an older piece i don't know if you can see but there is like a paisley design going down the front and i've never seen anything like that with 
this tea. Oh, it's actually all over. Um, so I'll have to look that up. There's the Lululemon symbol on the back. I'm gonna have to figure out the sizing on this because it doesn't have a tag. But it's got like the um, quotes on the inside hem. So I do believe this is a smaller piece. I will probably cross list all of the Lululemon that I got just because feel like people are always looking for Lululemon. Um, some of these older styles probably won't sell for as high, but I still think they'll be solid sellers. I'm not sure what this brand is. I thought this was also, I think it's called a Swiftly Top. I could be wrong. Sorry if I, if I got that wrong, but I thought this was Lululemon, but there's no Lululemon logo. And then on the bottom here, it says Olsel, Olsel. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on this. But I thought I'd pick it up anyway because it is so similar to the Lululemon top. Um, I think this will still do well. It's that nice like moisture wicking material. Um, people wear that a lot in the workout classes upstairs in the studio. So that will be, I think, a pretty good sell. This is the non-athletic piece that I received from this seller. And um, it's just this sanctuary, really cute bell sleeve like chambray top. Um, this is a size medium. I think this is gorgeous for like fall, transitional. This with a pair of some cute leggings or even some like dark wash jeans. I think this would be super cute. So very happy about that. Sanctuary is another brand that I don't really pick up for Poshmark, but I will stock it in my store. So like I said, the Pacific Northwest is having a heat, is going through a heat wave and our temperature has ranged anywhere between like maybe 85 degrees on a good day to all the way up to 113 so i know stocking my store with jackets like this might seem a little bit crazy but people are starting to shop for fall and for winter this is something that i would probably post on poshmark because i know it might start getting cold in other parts of the states um so i was very happy about this this is just a north face like very fuzzy um, teal sweater but I know if I put this in the store somebody will probably gravitate to it as well I mean I do live in the Pacific Northwest so it will get cold soon this next piece is just from Zella which I believe is a Nordstrom house brand um, I can see right here that it has the markings from Goodwill so I know that this is something that she had sourced to sell or she might have worn it herself I'm not sure this is just a zip up jacket very cute kind of gives me Lululemon vibes with like the stitching but it is not um, it's got this like vent back here and I believe it has pockets. Yeah, I just zipped them up. This is a size large. Again, another brand that I would not post in my Poshmark closet. And when I say that I wouldn't post these items in my Poshmark closet, it's just because I aim for a higher profit per item and a higher average sale price i know that that's not everybody's business model that's just what i prefer to do um so i don't want to necessarily take the time to photograph measure list stock inventory all of these things instead i can just put them on a hanger tag them and put them out in my store and um of course there's less eyes that see these items when they're only for sale in my store however it is less work and I think they'll still find the right buyer. This next piece is another Zella piece, also giving me Lululemon vibes. It has like the little thumb holes. I love this. Um, in my last video, I was wearing a Lululemon jacket that's kind of similar to this. And it had thumb holes as well. I wear it all the time because I get cold down here. Um, but this is just a blue hoodie style. And this is a size medium as well. Again, putting this in my store. This next dress is from the brand Athleta. So this is a more casual dress. It is long sleeve, so again, I might be holding on to this for maybe a month or two before it sells. But I've noticed that with a little bit of the older demographic of people that live near me, they love wearing dresses like these with leggings and going for walks in the morning or in the afternoon. Oh my gosh, a belt just fell off my rack and it like whip tailed the end and I thought it was like a snake. And I was like, wait, how did a snake get in here? <sighs> but it was just a belt. Okay, I'm sorry, I digress. Um, this is a size medium. It's got these fun zipper details. I believe this could also be kind of like a business casual kind of look, depending on how you dress it. Um, but again, another piece that I'll be posting in my store. Um, but let me know. I don't really sell Athleta. I know some people do like to sell it. Do these pieces do well, or is it just more of the like active wear pieces? So um, if you guys have any insight on that, let me know down below in the comments. Moving on to bottoms from this seller. She just 
gave me a few pieces and I don't have any pant hangers. I ordered them and they should be coming in today. But I thought I'd show you them anyway. The first item is this little golf slash tennis skirt. I honestly can't tell the difference. It's got this really cute kind of pleated detail in the back. It's gray. Um, activity skirts and like tennis skirts are really popular right now. I just bought a couple for myself and I love wearing them. They're just so freaking comfortable and cute. So I know that this will do well. This is a size medium and the inside lining is like this lime green, which I am obsessed with lime green right now. I'm not sure why, but yeah, I think this will do well again. I might cross list it. Hmm. I might use this haul to kind of test some of these brands and see if they do well on Poshmark. Um, and if they don't sell on Poshmark, that's totally fine. Again, I will have it available in my store. Or maybe these items would do better on eBay. Maybe I should just post all of my consignment stuff onto eBay. Hmm. That's another idea. Let me know your thoughts if you have any thoughts on these. Um, here's another lime green piece. These are shorts. I am unfamiliar with this brand, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, but I really liked the um, print of these. The brand is Solomon. If you guys have sold this brand before, if you know anything about it, let me know because I have never even heard of this before. It might be good, it might be bad, I'm not sure, but either way, I thought these were cute. They're a size medium and um, we need I need more like athletic shorts in my shop, so I thought these would be a good pickup. Next is a pair of Lululemon little capris. They are striped. They have the logo right here. I believe this is an older style as well. And the size on these, there's no size dot. Or maybe it's in this pocket. No. Okay, there's no size dot on these, so I'm gonna have to look. It might be in one of the pockets. But I thought these were cute. I'll have to figure out the size on these and the style name, and I will definitely cross post these onto Poshmark. Next is another pair of Lululemon pants. These are kind of like capris again. I don't know this style, but I know it's kind of popular. It is the cropped style though. If they were full length, I would probably try to keep them for myself because I've been looking for those. I think those are called like the studio or the dancer or something like that. Um, but here is the Lululemon logo. Sorry, it's a little blurry. Um, but yeah, these are a navy blue. There's no size tag on the inside, but let me see if there's a size dot in here. I'm going to assume that most of these are around the same size, but I will, of course, look for all of the sizes after I finish filming so I don't take up too much of your guys' time. These might just be really old and they might have, like, washed off, but I will have to do a little bit more digging to find out, but these are really cute. I think these will sell super quick in my store. I'm probably going to make a post saying that I got in a bunch of Lululemon and um, hopefully people will come. <laughs> okay, so the last Lululemon piece is this pair of, again, I think these are the cropped fit. I think on me, actually, they might not be cropped. These on me would be really long. Um, they are reversible, so if you don't like the purple band, you can just have plain black on the inside. Here is the logo again. These actually might do really well if I photograph them inside out from how they are now. So if I just photograph them plain black and describe them as like wide leg flare yoga pants, the only issue is that they are not high rise, but I mean, low rise is coming back into style. These are size six. This one actually has a size dot. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna photograph them like this and then just mention that they're reversible, but I feel like these should sell pretty well. And then the last piece that I got from this seller is another pair of cropped leggings. These are by Prana. So this is the Prana logo. If you ever find that, this is what the tag looks like on the inside. These are just some purple printed cropped leggings. I know some people who work out upstairs, they don't like really short shorts, but it is way too hot to exercise in full length leggings. So these are a great option and they're a cute style. These are size small. So I'll put these out and um, I'm hoping that all of these athletic pieces do well. I believe she's coming in today again to drop off more pieces. So I'm definitely excited to see what else she brings in. But now let's move on to my other client and see what she brought in. 
So this client, previously she brought in a lot of like free people, show me your moo moo, ASOS, um, really cute pieces, trendy pieces, and she did the same thing this time. I've been asking for people to bring in more summer and kind of like transitional fall pieces because it is so hot, and she just hit the nail on the head with all the pieces that she brought in, so really excited about that. The first piece is this super cute ruffle jumpsuit. This is a full length jumpsuit. It's got this cross back detail and the brand is Free Press, which I believe is just a Nordstrom house brand, but this is so cute. Again, I'm probably only gonna have this for sale in my store. It is a size large and I don't have too many size larges in my store. It's been a struggle. I've been trying to get more people to consign with me that are either size large or higher uh, because my store is kind of like majority extra small to medium. Um, so I was really happy for all of these pieces, but yeah, I definitely need to stock up my store with more of these pieces. This next one is another jumpsuit. It is another striped piece, wide leg. It's got this really cute ruching detail in the front. This is by the brand O'Neill. It is a size medium. Again, I'm going to list this in my store. It's super funny because I feel like when I moved from California, when I used to go thrifting in California, O'Neal, Billabong, Roxy, Quicksilver, those were all brands that I would find all the time. And now I don't really find them that much here, but people still really like wearing those pieces. So I think that this will do well. This next piece is actually brand new with tags. Here's the tag. It is ASOS. I believe this is tall. She's very tall. Um, but this is a really cute maxi like halter neckline dress. These are very stretchy, so it's kind of hard to show the dress. Um, people have been shopping a lot for like wedding season as wedding guests, and so I think that this will do really well. It is so pretty, and it's kind of lightweight, so even if someone is having an outdoor wedding, they're not going to be super hot in it. I believe she wore this as a bridesmaid's dress. She also gave me the dust bag for it. I don't usually pick this brand up. I find it a lot at the thrift store, but um, the styles just aren't ever super cute, at least to me. So I was really excited when I saw this because this is absolutely gorgeous. It's got like that bone, like that slightly corset style with this ruching detail and a high slit on the bottom. I'm so short I can't even show it. My shoes are super squeaky today. Um, and then this buttons in the back. So then it kind of has like a T-strap in the back. Even if somebody doesn't wear this as a bridesmaid dress or to a wedding, homecoming is coming up and I feel like someone could totally wear this for homecoming. Um, this dress is absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could show you like how stunning it is, but I know whoever buys this is just going to be super happy. I will probably post this on Poshmark um, just to get it out there and get a few more eyes on it. So this brand is another one of my tried and trues. I love it when people bring it in because people just, they know how this brand fits. They love it. They are, it's a reliable brand. I feel like a lot of people are familiar with the sizing. Um, this is an older piece. You could tell from the tag, it was a little bit older, but this is an off the shoulder kind of like mini dress, or you could even wear it as like a tunic. It's got these really fun tassel details and kind of like a slight bell sleeve. This is a size medium, I believe, and I think this is really cute. I think someone would totally wear this to like the river. We live on a river, so I would say beach, but the beach is a little bit far. Um, but yeah, somebody could wear this over like a swimsuit or even just to like brunch to go get mimosas or something. Um, very, very cute. I'll have to style this and get this up on my Instagram. This is probably my favorite piece of, or one of my favorite pieces of this haul. And this is why. It is by Barefoot Dreams. I haven't found this brand in a while. This is actually a robe, I believe. It has the um, tie, the belt around it. So I'm so happy that that came intact. It is full length. It is a large, extra large. I will probably be only posting this on Poshmark. Um, but yeah, very, very happy about this. It's in excellent condition. And I always love finding and selling this brand. It's got a cult following and for good reason. It is so soft. This next brand is a new brand to me, but I asked her and she said it is a maternity line from ASOS. The tag, I believe it says Momalicious. 
mom malicious. But anyway, this is a maternity striped maxi dress. I don't sell any maternity in my store. I recently sold a maternity dress on Poshmark by this brand called Stork. Um, which if you ever find that that is a bolo it sells great. I'm gonna try this out. We'll see how it goes I will probably just post this on Poshmark. I'm not sure if anyone here will be interested This next piece is another jumpsuit. This is more of a like a loungewear fit people have been Obsessing over black jumpsuits lately, which I totally get it. That is my favorite thing in the whole world is to wear a black jumpsuit um, but this is just by Old Navy I when I first opened my store I said that I wouldn't pick up Old Navy or that I wouldn't pick up Gap or like um, any of the cheaper brands but honestly so many people shop from it here and they like their pieces so I've started carrying it in the store this is definitely more of a like loungewear piece but I recently saw somebody wearing something similar to this at the grocery store with a really cute like t-shirt underneath and some Birkenstocks and I'm like that is such a cute outfit so I'm gonna style this one and hopefully this one does well it is super soft I think this might even be pajamas but I would definitely wear this out especially when it starts to get just a little bit more chilly so this is another new brand to me um, it's called natural life this is a hundred percent cotton it kind of has that like lag and look feel to it i'm not sure if this is pajamas i this might be like a breastfeeding thing or a maternity piece i'll have to do a little bit more research but it is like a jumpsuit it kind of reminds me of like the kids onesies but for an adult so very comfy um this is a size medium i'm probably gonna I have to look up comps and see if this is worth posting online, but if not, I will put it in my store. I am just obsessed with this. I think this is so cute. It might be pajamas, but I would still wear it if it was my size. This is this was an easy yes when I was going through her stuff. It's just a Def Leppard band tee. Um, the brand just says Def Leppard. I'm not sure if this is like from Target or something. Oh, it says it's by People... Oh, sorry, it's by Ripple Junction. So I don't know too much about band tees. I'm sure this is a reprint. This wasn't like some special vintage t-shirt or anything, but I think this will sell very, very quickly in my store. Um, and yeah, it's just white. It's a size large, plain pack. Very, very easy sell. She did give me a cute little Lululemon tank top. There's the logo there. It's just a ribbed navy blue tank top, like a racer back style with a built-in bra. Um, I will probably cross list this as well. It's in really good condition. It just doesn't have the um, size tag, so I'll have to look for the size dot inside. But yeah, not mad at this. This is another shirt from that Mamalicious brand. So this is also a maternity tee, I believe. It says Mother, Madre, Mama. Um, very cute. A lot of moms come and shop in my store. So I wanted to try this out. I'm just going to try to add a little bit more like graphic tees. I think I might say that I'm looking for graphic tees. Because um, they're so easy to style. It's also back to school season. So I want to have some options for people. This is a size large. Um, again, I... I've never sold this brand, but I believe it is by ASOS. Okay, so these two, I'm not familiar with these brands, I don't think. Or actually, this is by Bershka, which I've never sold anything from Bershka. I don't believe it's like a super expensive brand, but I thought this little ladder front sports bra was really cute, and I think somebody will really like this. This is a size large, um, and the back, is just like this a little racer back um, I would probably only list this or sell this in my store for around like eight dollars or so maybe less um, but yeah I think that's really cute and styled with some like biker shorts or something very very cute I also liked the print of this sports bra it's kind of like a high neck with this cross back the brand is DK active which I am, again, not familiar with, so I'll have to look it up. I also don't know what size this is. has room for padding, but there's no pads inside. Um, I just like to store... I just like to have athletic wear in my store and options in different sizes um, because after I teach trapeze, which is literally just directly across from my store, I always try to point people over and tell them that I have athletic wear so they can come and shop. And then I get to have my clients be my customers as well. All right, we're almost done with the hanging stuff, but there's another jumpsuit. This is by O'Neal again. So same as that striped pink jumpsuit. Um, I don't think it's exactly the same style. It's got a really cute lace-up back, which I can't really show that well, um, but it's a wide leg. 
very relaxed comfy jumpsuit this is super cute and i think that this will do well here in my store um but yeah very 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 on trend right now i love the rainbow-ish stripes on this um yeah somebody will definitely swoop that up this is the last hanging piece this is so cute i think um one of I think my friend already snagged this up. She looked at it last night and I think she wants it for herself. But I thought I'd still show it to you guys. It's a size large. I'm not sure what this brand is. It says La Miel. I'm assuming that this is sold at like Marshalls or um, maybe even Ross or something like that. But it is so cute. It is just this like fuzzy oversized button down with pockets this is something that i would totally wear like non-stop during fall um but i actually saw something kind of similar to this at i think i was at walmart yo walmart has been killing it with some of their stuff i mean i try to stay away from fast fashion and i try to stay away from buying used as much as i can but some of those walmart stuff be tempting me like really tempting me and yeah they have something similar to this so if you have a walmart near you i'd go and check it out but i absolutely love this over jacket all right moving on i have this whole bin of stuff down here so i'm going to start off with the purses this is absolutely gorgeous it's like this macrame knit boho tote bag um i'm not sure about this brand i've never heard it before i also don't really sell that many purses but the brand is katori here's the tag i did look up comps and it doesn't look like this brand sells for that much i think it has a higher retail rate but it doesn't resell for that much online um but i did post it for kind of high we'll see if it gets any interest but it is listed in my store as well i just think this is absolutely gorgeous for somebody like going to a farmer's market or a beach or just going on a trip um yeah this is super cute i love it i'm not really that much of a boho girl but i can appreciate a good boho piece you know what i mean all right this next purse i was speechless when i saw that she brought this in um this is my first time ever finding this piece uh, not really finding but ever selling this piece it is by dagne dover i could 100% be butchering that and I apologize if I am um, This bag is not in the best condition, but I did read up and see that I can clean it So I'm gonna try but can we just take a moment for this stunning bag? Um, I'm not sure if she used this as like a baby bag or um, Just as like a personal duffel bag, but this is what it looks like there is the tag here. You can see there's some kind of like water damage on the sides. This is a neoprene material. So um, when I was reading, it said to use cold water and just like a light soap. If anybody has any experience cleaning neoprene or cleaning any purse that's kind of like this uh, material, let me know. There is so much going on inside. I believe you can put like swimsuits in here or delicates or honestly use it for anything. And then there is another bag here. Actually, this might be for wet. I'm not sure. Either way, there are a bunch of pouches inside. There's a bunch of pockets. It also comes with like the, it has an option for a long strap or you can use these handles here and it zips. All the zippers work. Everything is good. There's no rips or tears the only issue is the stains um so i'm not sure if i could i mean if i could even sell it in this condition i could try but i don't mind trying to wash it so again if anyone has any tips on how i can do that safely without damaging it let me know but very excited about this despite the condition i've sold some purses that i was like i don't think this will sell for much at all because of how much damage it had on it and then it ended up being like my highest sale. Uh, then again, it was like Gucci, but it was like a diaper bag that was just full of rips and tears and stains and someone still paid like quite a bit of money for it. So I was very surprised about that. Moving on to some of the bottoms. I just grabbed these from her because I feel like this is very on trend for the Pacific Northwest. Um, someone's definitely going to want these. They are the flare type leggings in this amazing boho print. Very cute actually. I actually might show these to my friend and see if she wants them because this is very much her style. 
And then we got a few pairs of jeans. So, so I was actually really excited about this pair because they're by the brand Frame. I believe these are called the Linden. I'm not sure, but it has this thing right here. It says Forever Carly. I'm not sure if this is like a collaboration or something. So I'll have to do a little bit of research but they are high rise and they have this flare leg which always does really well in jeans um they are size 27 so i will definitely get these listed on poshmark see how these do and then this is a pair of jeans from asos and they are new with tags she shops a lot from asos so these are a button fly high rise skinny jean with some distressing on the knees um, again, it's like back to school season, so I'm trying to stock up on pieces like these. These are size 28. Okay, this brand I have never sold before, but I think that it's really popular in this area. I've never even like looked at these before, but the brand is BKE. Um, this is the tag. It's marked off. It says BKE denim and the Peyton. Um, so these look like this. They are a little, I think this is like boot cut or like maybe slightly flared. Um, I don't know. This is the pockets. Let me know if this was not a good pickup, but I feel like a lot of people wear jeans like this here. So I'll put them in my store and see how these do. This next pair isn't anything too exciting, but I love the fit of them. These are just a brand from Target, Universal Thread. And these are the vintage straight so they are a high rise, wide leg, slightly cropped, slight distressing, very minimal distressing on them. Um, but again, this style is really nice, really popular. I think these will do well in my store as well. They're a size 10 or a size 30. So um, yeah, definitely need to stock up on a little bit of the bigger sizes in my store, but very happy with that. Next are these workout shorts. They're like these ombre pink seamless shorts. They are high rise. This is my first time selling this brand i'm gonna look up comps on poshmark because i know this is kind of a popular brand i believe an influencer started it or something like that it is kind of a small business um but the brand is able a y b l i think that's how you say it very cute honestly gives me like gymshark vibes it also has the logo right here um, but we'll see how these do i'm excited to try these out i believe these are a large as well um, again if you have any experience selling any of these things that i'm like clueless about drop your expertise down below in the comments let me learn from you guys and also share with anybody else who's watching because i'd really appreciate it we can all learn from each other and that's why i love the community because everybody has different experiences selling different things and we can all just kind of make a collective and share all of that anyway last piece of the day i was like oh my gosh i can't believe she brought these in but then i saw the brand and i was like i didn't even know that they sold this so i was kind of excited about this but they are these really cute fuzzy slippers they're actually in really good condition i know that like the matting can go down a little bit if you wear them too much but they weren't worn too too bad um but they're by sorel which is crazy. I was trying to look up comps on these last night. Um, and this is like, it's so soft. Um, but there was only like one for sale in this color, I think. I couldn't find this color um, sold by anybody else. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging. I'll probably cross list these as well. This part is so squishy. I have like a cheap version of these kinds of slippers and I wear them all the time. But yeah, I totally didn't know that Sorel made these and I'm very happy about them. I'm going to put these in my store because I have these other pair of like Ugg fuzzy slippers. Everybody loves them. Everybody picks them up, but they're a size 7, which I thought was like the most common size and everybody says it's like either too big or too small. So, kind of bummed about that, but these I believe are a size 9. Oh, these are a size 10 actually. So, maybe somebody will find these and want these for themselves. They're in really good condition despite the matting a little bit. But that is it for my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in anything that you've seen me share, you can always send me a DM on Instagram and I would be more than happy to sell it to you through PayPal. 
I also have a fun little announcement. Um, Poshmark just announced that I will be a speaker at this year's Posh Fest. I will be talking about content creation and leveraging video, which is obviously my specialty as I make videos here on YouTube. And I also love creating reels on Instagram and creating other content on Instagram as well. If you guys are going to Posh Fest, please let me know tell me down below in the comments message me on instagram i would love to meet up with you guys i would love to meet you guys see you in person it has been way too long since the last in-person posh fest i'm just really happy that um, poshmark has given me this opportunity to speak once again and i've been missing some connection with my reseller friends so so i'm very excited about all of the fun we're going to be having in houston this year for posh fest if you guys have not purchased your ticket already i will link that down below in the description box it is a little bit pricey but Honestly, the networking and just being able to meet your online friends in real life, there is like no price you can put on that. Um, if you guys have any questions about Posh Fest, let me know. I was like considering making either a video or a post or something, um, just sharing kind of like what Posh Fest is like for new people or for people who've never gone before and who are thinking about it or who might be scared because they don't know anybody. Um, but let me know if you guys want that info because I can definitely make something for you on that. Um, and then I think I'm gonna try to vlog at, at Posh Fest. We'll see how how well I can do this, um, but I might do some sort of video revolving around either like how much I spend, what I wear, or just vlogging the whole thing. So let me know what you guys want to see from me. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of this video and watching all the way through. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye.